A suggestion I have to make sure that you never go wrong when you're doing calculations with negatives is just to make sure that you ask yourself quickly before you start whether you're adding or subtracting or whether you're multiplying or dividing. Let me show you what I mean. Have a look at these two questions here. They look similar, um, but they're in fact asking quite different things. In the first one, and this is what I'm suggesting we always actually ask ourselves, is just check whether we are in the multiplication division world or whether we're in the addition subtraction world before you start doing anything else. So let's have a look at this first one over here. This just says negative 5 subtract 3. It is very carefully and very clearly in the multi um, addition subtraction world. We're just doing a subtraction here. Whereas this one here, you know that if you've just got these two brackets written next to each other um, and we've left out any sign in between, we're talking about multiplication. And so this one here is in that multiplication division world. And why is that important? Well, it's because they're very different rules for how you deal with negative numbers, depending on which of those worlds you're in. So if we go with the first one, we're at negative 5, and we go three more steps further down, so obviously we're going to end up at negative 8. Whereas in the second one, we're in the multiplication world, and in that world, we've got those rules. Negative times negative is positive. Positive times positive is positive, and a negative times positive or a positive times negative is negative. So in this case, we've got negative times negative, it's positive. 5 times 3, it's 15. So we've got positive 15 as our answer. Okay, try this one for yourself. First decide if you're in the multiplication division world or the addition subtraction world, and then do the calculation. Pause the video and try it now. Okay, so hopefully in this one, what you saw is that here you are in the subtraction world. You're saying 2 subtract negative 3. But here you've got nothing between the 2 and the bracket. In other words, this is a multiplication. So then this one will become, if we are subtracting a negative, taking away some cold, it's the same as adding. So this is going to be the same as 2 plus 3, which is 5. In contrast, here we're in the multiplication world, and so we're going to use our rule. A positive multiplied by a negative gives me a negative, so the answer is going to be negative, and 2 times 3 is 6.